Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to find all of the possessed animals that are currently spawning all around the map in GTA 5 Online. Not only will I be showing you footage of all of the five possessed animals, but I will also be showing you how to spawn in any one of these animals 100% in case you haven't seen any one of these already. Anyways, if you go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it for me, but without wasting any more time, let's go. So the first thing everybody needs to do first is first of of all find some sort of map that is going to let you know the locations of all of these five possessed animals where they can possibly spawn and what i used was the gta web website this is honestly my personal favorite website when it comes to finding anything in gta 5 online because in this website shows you the exact locations where all of the five possessed animals can possibly spawn in and the other reason I really love this website is because it allows you to zoom into any one of these locations really high quality and see exactly where these animals could possibly spawn in. So this website will definitely make your life way easier when finding these animals so if you would like to use it I'll leave a link at the very top of the description. Alright now if you want to get any one of these animals to spawn in 100% what you need to do first is go to that website that I just told you a second ago and then look at the location of that animal and then go over to it on the map. As you can see right here I'm at the location of where the pug spawns in. It's very important to make sure once you're at this location that you do not call out any one of your personal vehicles. You can only use NPC vehicles that are spawning in around you. But luckily for you, most of these locations are near some sort of road. That way you can actually get an NPC vehicle pretty easily because I know a lot of these circles are kind of big. So you of course need some sort of vehicle to navigate around the circle where the animal can possibly spawn in. So if you do go to one of these locations where the animal can spawn in and it is a really big circle, then what I recommend doing is get an NPC vehicle and then just use that NPC vehicle to navigate through the circle trying to find the animal. Another really important tip that's going to make sure you get these animals 100% to spawn in is to make sure you're in this session for 15 minutes before you even start hunting for animals. So what I recommend doing is joining the session, putting a timer, and once it's been 15 minutes, then wait for it to turn nighttime, and then you can go find animals. So now that we went over all of the ways to get this animal to spawn in, now we can actually look for the animals ourselves. Now what we need to do first is make sure we're only looking for these animals between the times of 8pm to 1am. Or if you're going off the GTA clock, that is from 20 to 1am in game time. So yeah, once it hits 20 in game time, you want to go to any one of these locations and then we'll start looking for these animals. So once you make it to a location where the animal can spawn in, you now need to make sure you're in the circle and you need to go towards any one of these spawn points where the animal can spawn in. It of course shows you on the map on GTA web. Anyway, once you go towards the spawn point where the animal can actually spawn in, if it spawns in, it'll show a blue dot on the map. To confirm it is actually a possessed animal, what you need to do is open your map and then actually hover over the blue dot. If it says it's an animal, that's how you know you actually found a possessed animal. Anyway, from there, just walk up to the blue dot and then you'll see an animation of the animal turning from the regular animal it was into a possessed animal. And after it turns into a possessed animal, it is then going to continuously try to attack and take you out. Luckily, this was the pug though, and the pug is honestly not even going to take you out. He is way too slow. Unlike the pug, the boar is the next possessed animal that you can find in GTA 5 Online, and this guy is definitely not too slow. And I'm not sure if you noticed during the first clip, but whenever you're dealing with these possessed animals, if you ever want to break and you don't want them to chase you anymore, if you have a stun gun, you can actually stun them and have them stun for up to 5 to 10 seconds. And yeah, that's what I did often because these animals can be kind of fast and tricky, but don't worry because even if the boar or the pug bites you once they are not going to take you out it takes them at least five bites to take you out but to take them out it does take a whole bunch of bullets they're basically invincible but you can take them out with a whole bunch of bullets if you shoot them enough okay now unlike those two previous animals the coyote can definitely take you out so definitely make sure you're very careful once you do find the coyote this guy is really really fast because of course he is a coyote so he's going to be fast of course but if you find him in the exact location where i did in this mountain it is kind of annoying and tricky to see him sometimes because as you can see all of these shrubs around him are very tall almost taller than him so there was like a few times where he'd bite me and i wouldn't even see him bite me because these shrubs were just literally over him so i couldn't really see him that good so just be very careful once you do find the coyote but don't worry even though the coyote is super fast he also will only take you out in a few bites so you do have like three or four bites before you actually get taken out the next possessed animal you can find is the deer and the deer is a really interesting possessed animal to see because as you can see his antlers are covered in blood which is pretty cool looking and for some reason the deer was the hardest animal for me to find every animal was really easy i found them all on my first try but the deer took me like three tries for some reason so if you don't find an animal on your first try sometimes it will take you a few tries to find 
find it. And I don't have that much gameplay of the deer because for some reason my friends decided to come in out of nowhere and just completely run over the deer, which honestly I wasn't even complaining because they kind of saved me to be honest. And now going over the very last possessed animal, which is the cougar. And this is definitely an animal you should not mess with because yes, you guessed it. Once he bites you once, he's going to take you out instantly. And no, not just an instant takeout where he bites you and you're gone. No, once he bites you, he has a hold of you and then he's going to maul you until you are basically taken out. So yeah, the cougar is a pretty aggressive way to take you out in GTA 5 online. And of course, if you take him out before, then you would have saved yourself. So yeah, those are all of the five possessed animals currently in GTA 5 Online for the Halloween month. These are going to be in the game until November 2nd when the weekly update ends. Anyway, that is now going to be the end of today's video. Now you know how to spawn in any one of these five possessed animals in GTA 5 Online literally whenever you want to. Of course, if you did want to enjoy today's video and you still haven't already, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on the video. It only takes one second and it really helps the video get out there to people who haven't seen my YouTube channel already. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed, to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me and I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.